Meanwhile, aboard the Cajun Queen, Pierre LeBlanc, known by his fellow anglers as Scaly Pete. Daddy hunted sharks. I hunt sharks. It's in the blood. There was somebody better at this, you'd be following down, yeah? Oh, people, we got a lot of wrong ideas about sharks. Scientists say how we gotta coexist. Now, how you gonna coexist with that shark, huh? Shark just wanna do one thing. That's kill you, eat you, and you out. What I do, I consider a sacred honor. Kill them all if I could. Too bad, eh? But 24 hours to a day. Shark spotted in Fontic Bayou. Uh. Several deaths reported. Shark can be identified by rusty harpoon embedded in flank. Get the f out of my way. Got a job to do. This is an adult bull shark. Fast, fierce, and armed quite literally to the teeth, she has little to fear here in the Gulf. The muscular marvel confidently moves through its watery world. are put on full display. Exhibiting behavior more common to a thresher shark, this bull makes creative use of her powerful tail. A shark fin is a sinister reminder to humans that the ocean remains a wild and untamed domain. The bull performs an acrobatic feat worthy of an orca, cruelly imprisoned and put on display in a marine park stunt show. The big fish plunges to the ocean below. The bull's speed is astounding for a large marine predator. A breaching shark is a rare, calorie-intensive spectacle.
While it is well known that sharks feed on mollusks, fish, and seals, less discussed is their propensity to feed on fear. Encounters like these that have a negative effect on this often maligned marine creature. Emphasize that this sort of targeted violence is quite unusual for a shark. That shark needs a good whack on their nose. Go get him, Chad. Hey, see you in a bit. How you doing there, shark? Dinner coming, boys. Let's get her up on deck, huh? On board the Cajun crew, Scaly Pete looks over the catch of the day. <sighs> yeah, this my daddy's on, all right. But this ain't the shark. Not the one I was looking for. How do you know? How I know? Not big enough. This look like a mega to you. Oh, oh look at here. She's on for me. Hello! 
are your mama in there? Ah! Oh, but well, why'd you do that? So I can identify her. Next time I see her, when I spear her. The tiny pup responds with an instinct for survival. You never want to turn off that gun. A famous big game hunter once posited that after an animal had tasted human flesh, it forsakes its natural prey in a deadly single-minded search for the most dangerous game. Lifestyle choices and risky behavior. I have one of those new pop-up tub stoppers at home, and let me tell you, those things are just a magnet for hair and debris. Heat and lack of oxygen can be taxing for a shark. This shark understands that she needs to eat essential minerals to stay healthy and grow. A bull shark is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. would hardly be the strangest thing ever retrieved from a crocodile's mouth.
the shark returns to the grotto to focus on personal transformation. Until local police departments settle a dispute over jurisdiction, these two remain a popular attraction for selfie-seeking snorkelers. This shark should consider returning to the water. This mineral supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well-balanced diet. often call for backup upon spotting the prey. The scourge of the swampland, Bayou Willie. Obstinately digs in as the conflict escalates.
Tooth Nightmare, the Barracuda. Recognize it as the title of a classic rock radio staple. Did you know that it's also a fish? Well, it's true. Even after the creation of a killer clown task force, clown-related homicide still remains a problem in Port Clovis. Giant monsters, or kaiju, occasionally visit Port Clovis to pregame before destroying more worthwhile scenes.
shark hunters have arrived. Soon we will see them in action, and quite possibly discover which one of them stole my car steering. The bartender life ender, Bobby Bojangles. What's that there? Only time will tell whether government actions can diminish Port Clovis's reputation as a shark attack hotspot. Fish higher on the food chain are more mobile, able to traverse a variety of waters. Back on board the Cajun Queen. That's Kyle, my son. He's just here for the summer. Studies marine biology. <laughs> Look at that. I got one hand can still tie a hook. He got two can bend and tie his shoes. Must get that from his mama. Yeah. He used to help my daddy around. Spent a lot of time together. But we wasn't close. He was a shark hunter. That's all he was. If anybody were gonna catch the mega, it'd be him. <laughs> Thought it was a government experiment, got himself loose. Boy, he wanted that shark. Wanted it bad. Found it once. Didn't catch it, no. What... what happened to your father? Huh? What happened? Look, uh... I ain't got time to answer questions all day. Got work to do. been put out, and now a dangerous army of lawless, trigger-happy sadists begin shooting anything that moves.
Fort Clovis's most disreputable citizens have converged on the area. Human and shark must so often meet as enemies. The savage shrimper, Pookie Paul. latest cycle of attacks will certainly be among the most infamous chapters in the long troubled history of human shark relations. When the sound of shotguns and molly hatchet disturbs the serenity of an otherwise calm sea, the shark hunters are near. 